Hello. Hi, Pyrian. Oh, hello. Welcome back. Get back to work, bro. Yeah. Those <sighs> beautiful socks of yours. God, that looks comfortable. You crack on. So, we have a match coming up. Who we is it? Joined. Who are we joined Not by? today. Oh, I'm sorry. Who's this fool? This is Bulbasaur from yeah. Team Tinker. He's I there. He's there three slash five slash four. Yeah. Right? It's not an insult, Sam. It's just a yeah. statement of fact. Yeah, when you're true. lagging, you're a five. When you're not, you're a three. Right? Well, it depends. That's as what you well told me. Heroes and stuff. A okay. lot of extra factors. A lot of factors. A lot I of factors. I hate you, Charlie. So we were supposed to be joined by Sing Sing, but he, he Sing dodged. Sing dodged. No, seriously, I'm casting. He's a land dodger. He's I'm casting. casting. How's it going, Charlie? Oh, I said hi. Did you flame me, says Charlie, because someone said hi. Cloud so, 9 versus not today. Beautiful Death stuff. Prophet. Cloud Have we seen Death Prophet, like, picked yet? No. And has she been banned in every match? No. Didn't feel like she was part v of the... VG banned versus us in their game, but I don't think... It, I don't think m the Western teams respect that hero as much... Or... The European teams. Mm. Yeah. So I'm actually surprised that they first picked the DP because I don't know if that hero is all that first pickable, but Smash has a really good death profit, so okay. maybe. So ah, aside yes. from the changes for pushing early and the cooldown increase of her, I think that's all that was changed, right? Mostly yeah. it was indirect changes via pushing. That's probably um, why. Is that why she's not I think the OT nerf, the cooldown was the biggest. It was like 20 seconds or something like that? Yeah, it just it feels um like with that, that hero when... You like you can fight around her ulti like she uses her ulti and then she's kind of useless for X amount of time. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you so. really think she's useless without her ulti? Well, not really useless, but useless for team fighting. Like mm. in most, most at least in mid to late game, the early game the nuke does a lot of damage. Yeah. But and the silence is useful. Yeah, yeah, too. but mid to late game, uh, when people get BKBs and yeah. stuff, she's just kind of sitting there. You have you put all this farm on a hero and then she just spams the nuke. Yeah. So. Interesting. I mean, in, in the pub games I play in, Channel, I don't know if you get the same thing. <laughs> if they get Death Prophet, it's like, holy shit, we lost. Like, they got DP. Why don't you just pull out the Sand King? Huh? Pull out the Sand King. I play the Sand King, but, uh, you know, oh, I love that They guy. have two heroes that are super reliant on their ults. Like, once yeah. their ults are used, they're like they're not useless, but close yeah, to Yeah, so while Cloud9 has these two heroes that are really versatile, can go to any lane, Yeah. Um, probably, honestly, the two, in my opinion, the two strongest heroes right now in the game. E.T. and Venge? Yeah, especially together. It's insanely strong. I remember you saying, I think it was at TI4, you were saying that Elder Titan is just like the most brokenly good hero. I mean, I've, I've always been a fan of the hero. I think yeah. the overall design of the hero is just so, like, it fits Dota so well. He yeah. pushes lanes out really well. He's team fighting really easily. He has good disables. He scales well into the late game. But he still requires a bit of skill to use things like the alt and the uh -huh. stomp and stuff like... Yeah, I mean, now you people just go this Yule's item. It's really easy to set up. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the Tranquil Boots Yule's item makes him even stronger. I think he got nerfed. The spirit damage got nerfed. I used to like running in mid, but yeah. his laning phase is kind of weak. So. Oh, and then the Ooh. Void pick. Ooh, Madon. Get the Void in there. So is this going to be off lane, or how often do we see carry these days? Uh, I think it's safe lane uh, Void. Okay. I think Cloud9 is one of the... Teams that enjoy uh, E goes plays in safe. They don't. They their off lane and mid uh, heroes aren't usually um huge farm like meaning like huge like late game heroes like they Bone Seven always plays space makers and so does Fada usually on the puck or the panda. So um, let's ease uh, void definitely. How is there no terror blade pick for Cloud Nine? I feel like if it's not banned, it's always picked by them and only by them. I mean, the, their logic is that there's so many counters to the hero, really. What are the counters to Terrorblade? Please, God, tell me right now. Uh, I think Zeus is really good. Okay. Magical He's Burst. Banned. Maybe yeah. they want him. So they, ba they banned the Zeus. Oh, uh, they banned the Terrorblade. Oh, sorry. They banned the Zeus. So maybe they do want the Terrorblade. That's actually interesting. So Cloud9 could now really, really take Terrorblade if you're saying Zeus is a I mean, strong they, they can't. I mean, not today could take the Terrorblade. Yeah. So if you, you, when you see a Zeus ban, is that actually the first thing you think of? Terrorblade? Yeah, really? I actually do. Oh, well, it's one of the things, but also another reason they banned is because Zeus and other Titan are really good together as well. Yeah, that's so true. Th you can if just I see a Zeus ban, my first thought is techies. <laughs> For yes, real. Great counter. That's true. Just spam the ground. See all those wards? Yeah. The problem is his range is garbage, so he can't kill him himself, right? True that. A A, mm. this right. this is an alt based yes. ain't it? Well, A A's alt is pretty low cooldown. Yeah, but that's that's the good thing, right? But I mean, the, if they land this, it's going to be super super strong. I mean, but you could say the same about Cloud Nine. They have yeah. the Chronosphere into Elder Titan ult, and who knows oh, what oh, else? Oh. Maybe they even wanted the Ancient Apparition. Who you knows? think there's going to be a lot of fighting in this game? 
lot of straight up fight. I, I, I think not today wants to fight, but Cloud9 wants to do their usual like split up the map, right. separate, have AUI farm a lot on his hero. Uh, I'm thinking what hero that not today could pick. They might run a carry Wraith King. I actually think that's one of the heroes they could run because carry Wraith King is one of the best heroes versus Void. I think. Yeah. Just because um, the reincarn just you can play around the Void Chrono, uh, and I'm thinking what like why why they want like you have to wonder when they pick a hero like A like that. What what's the reasoning? Because uh, he's not the best per se versus Void. He doesn't really have a, sl a stun or anything through BKB. Yeah. So he just has this kind of OT global presence and team fight presence. So you have to think what, and then he also secures the laning phase. Yeah. Meaning the, the third spell makes your laning phase really easy. The jazz hands. Yeah, yeah the yeah. jazz hands. Yeah, makes our first blood super easy, right? Yeah. So um, Cloud Nine, they need a um, hero for Fada. <laughs> He's wearing the cozy to play. This is a professional cozy. Hey, this house is like bipolar. Some rooms are super cold, and the one we're in, like so right now. Is I don't think that's what bipolar means. You have two moods. Yeah. I see what you're saying. But it's, it's like in a bad way. Like this is if you're too hot in one room, you can go to a cold room. It's a good thing. If you're really angry one day, you can be really sad happy the next. The next. No, well, yeah, oh, I guess it's sad happy more than anything. But. Anyway, Magnus. Get my, my reference. Damn. Mag Magnus, so, Elder mm. Titan, Void. Yeah, they have That's a lot a of scary line. They have a lot of uh, wave clear. But I, I really think like the carry Wraith King for not today. Mm. I think it would be a pretty cool pick for them. Oh, Boom! Man, Holy shit, Sam! It's like you know what you're talking about. Unbelievable. Oh. I feel like the empower on Void is going to be ridiculous. You don't even have to go. Ah, uh, I know that. It just it, it's, I seem like the carry Wraith King. He's just going to go farm safely. Mm -hmm. I'm actually seeing this. Um, I've seen some Ra Wraith Kings just go Radiance, Midas Radiance, and yeah, they just yeah. farm, farm, farm. And this hero actually owns with the Radiance, I think. How so late game does that that hero go? He goes quite late game because you have six slots. You have a free Aegis every time. Yeah. You can ask Period in his uh, pub games uh, when he plays versus are you, six. Are you flaming me, dude? No, I'm not, dude. I'm <laughs> just let saying me, that. Let me tell you something about Wraith King, okay? I, I don't necessarily like the Radiance. I like to get a Ma Maelstrom or a Mjolnir on him because it has the same effect for farming. It sort of helps you flash farm, which is his big weakness, is when you want to start getting those items. Yeah. He does start hitting really hard. Yeah. If you can improve his farm with a Maelstrom or a, or a Mjolnir, I think it helps a lot. The reason that I thought that... um. They would pick the Wraith King there was because of the AA pick, yeah. as well as the Void pick. It's it just if I was picking for them, I would pick the carry Wraith King there, and that's just my reasoning. And TA, so that's oh. actually an off lane Magnus, a mid Lanaya, so and safe lane Void. So just a wandering Elder Titan and Venge. They have a couple damage over time spells with the Wraith Fire Blast and yeah. Cold Feet, Wraith and even the ult from Ice Blast. Wraith Fire Blast is actually a really good spell versus TA uh, before he, obviously before he gets the BKB. It takes off and um. Mirana. Mirana. Oh, Mirana. Mm. So wait. So uh, is it a farm? mid DP? It's got to be a support Mirana. Support right? Mirana, yeah. or it could be a support Wraith King. You never. I feel know. like that uh, is a no. disgusting trialing. AA Wraith King Mirana. That's yeah, sick. I, I think I think core Mirana has fallen off, in my opinion. What is it that you don't like about it? Because um, I mean, is it just that there are other heroes that can do it better, sort of thing? Okay, God, that is a s support Wraith King man. Oh. That's but I now you can see what they want to do with that. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, they should core that Wraith King. I don't think, I think they force this because they want to go aggressive tri lane, and they want to pressure the the aggressive tri lane the lane, and they're gonna send the tide safely in versus the mag. So um, you can s you just know that because uh, they're gonna have AA Wraith King as their supports. I, I just don't like Marana's core that much, especially versus Void. Uh, he needs way too many items to have farm. Yeah. In my opinion, the one of the few cases where you can have core Marana is when you go this Bane Marana aggro mm -hmm. trilane, or you have like a um, like a Doom with the Wolf Creep. Right. He just needs so much damage boost because you you have to go phase drums and then you have to go Mjolnir, but then you're vulnerable. I feel like even to when die. Marana has a lot of items, it's still somewhat underwhelming. Yeah, it is. Know, compared to it others. Is. The yeah. thing is, I've I, like I've seen teams where you get Drow, Venge, Marana, something that's, like that. That's that's actually really and good. And that's really legit, right? Because wow, period. That was a great. Thing to add there. Why are you, Why are you flaming me so again? I'm not flaming. I'm actually being <laughs> like, I'm actually. It was a. It, it's a, you're I'll, right. I can draw for you if you need me. No, so. Marana is actually really good as a core when you have Drow because that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's your free damage bonus right there. Yeah. All right, Reddit so Fog, Fog plus can one speak, point uh, for period. <laughs> Fog can speak Spanish pretty well. I've been told. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's 100% fluent. It seems like it was last night. I think he said 80% or something. 80. Oh, that's good enough. Yeah. I mean, if Black communicates just fine with Vici, so. 
This shouldn't be an issue. There's a lot of pointing involved, dude. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> well, that's. I think that's normal for any language. <laughs> Look at that with the manners out of uh, standing fog. Good luck. Have fun. Bathroom. Yeah, and uh, they're gonna actually go aggressive try lane. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna sit on an ancient hill, and at level one they're gonna smoke. Uh, after the creep wave has spawned a bit, right? Yeah, they're gonna stand there and they're gonna smoke. He's actually hiding the smoke there because he doesn't that's want the smart. enemy to see. That's that's really yeah. next level. Yeah, actually, this this move, uh, this about what this AA and rating are doing. Uh, at T at TI four on Liquid, we did this move a lot actually. Yeah. At level one, it's not many teams used to really do that, so we kind of caught a lot of teams off guard on a TI four, using this, and we used to get first blood, and uh, we used to get first blood in either mid lane or. Or the enemy safe lane. Huh. It's Liquid's it's doing it! Yeah, it's a cool move. Was it through a smoke gank? I can't remember. TI3 was Liquid are doing it without smoke ganks. No, that's true. TI4 Liquid are doing because of smoke ganks. <laughs> I see. So, I mean, they're they can see, if they have vision and they know he has boots, they'll know he'll be. So now they know that it's an aggressive trial lane, and what Cloud9 usually do versus aggressive trial lane is that one of their supports rotates to the off lane, and they usually dual lane. They'll send two heroes top and they'll send two heroes bottom. So what we might see is the Venge go bottom and kind of support the Magnus. And if you look at what Pilot Eye is going to do, he's actually hitting... Maybe he's going to head there already, I'm not entirely sure. Do you think he's just babysitting the TA because they know that something's up? Oh yeah, and also this, because they, they actually had a war, ward on the uh, up there on that hill. Yeah. And they saw the Invis they Rune They knew something up. was up. They saw that the, uh, the Wraith King picked up that Invis Rune. Has an AA for company. Is that smoke still by the ancients? I'm guessing. I think it must be. Checking. No, he's it's like a secret smoke. No. no, I think the AA's got it. Yeah, okay. right there. Okay. Now they have vision that he has it as well. So, and, and now, he and now smoke. he smokes. I don't know if that was in vision of the ward or not. I guess we'll it's find not, out. It's not. It wasn't. So let's see where they go. Um, top lane. Let's see who. If ET has boots, he's a hard hero to kill. They need the arrow on them. Yeah, Envy is a hero it. hard. Envy is really hard to kill. What as has well. uh, has AA has, has has he leveled up the jazz hands or has he got this stuff? He, he needs the jazz hands. Yeah. Here, Here it comes. Uh, There's the hands. Stun. What? It's the arrow. Where is it? Just what? catches what? him. Is he going to be able to walk away? EE e in trouble. Oh my god. Oh, I think he's he oh my god. Oh no, he dies it. Oh my goodness. That was really yeah. weird from Envy. His rela his his reflexes were really slow there. I felt he should have been able to time walk before the stun. He, like, if you what, saw what happened, they have a side ward, and then they saw the Wraith King just run into the creep play for literally like two or three seconds. Right. And he like, when Wraith King throws the stun, he has a little animation with yeah, his yeah. hands. He That's has like his own a little big green skull yeah. flies through the air. Yeah, yeah. So there's always op opportunity to cancel animation. And up, like, but in that situation, doesn't matter. And the funny right? thing is, A threw his jazz hands even before the stun landed. Yeah, you yeah. know, so like, he's like, there's a, a there's a Wraith King with jazz hands running at you. You got he throws jump. a stun and enemy still doesn't time walk, so that was a big kill. What do you feel about this matchup, Death Prophet versus TA? There's no easy way for Death Prophet to take off the refraction like we talked about. But yeah, this can't be fun for DP, right? I think both I mean, heroes farm, though. Well. I think with Bottle Crow mechanics, it's DP is one of those heroes that really can't lose his lanes to most heroes. And now he's got a haste. Let's see what he can make happen. I don't know if... I think he's just going to get Muss with the pull and uh, leech some XP from this. How aggressive oh, can they be? Really? Are they gonna oh, wow. high? This is how aggressive they can be. There's the stun. Into arrow. Jazz hands for the finish. One more punch. Nice. Can they get the ET hit too? Typical fog uh, taking the kill from his carry. Now they back it up. They need to back. He's still his mana now. In comes Venge. Can they turn? Nope. Nope. Where's he going? Gonna eat his way through the trees and away. Yeah, we should take a look at bottom lane as well. Should look at the CS there. That's gonna be an important lane because, um,. When you safe lane this tide versus a melee hero, he usually wins his lane quite hard. Mm. But Bone Seven is actually doing a fairly good job. He's staying within three CS, and it looks like they're ping top lane again. No, but do you think it's the uh, the shockwave from Magnus means that okay, he'll he'll eat the anchor smash, but he'll still pick up CS with that, right? Yeah, it is. It's just also that uh, at some point when your mid is bottle crowing, you off lane the mag, and he needs the bottle crow as well. Yeah. Get two so, couriers. Yeah, maybe. New meta. I mean, All the oh. way. All oh. Echo Stomp's going to connect. Fog is in a lot of trouble. He did get first blood, but he's going to pay with it with his life. Yeah. yeah. He was an out of position there. I feel that A. The, the, when you see the creep wave like that, top lane, there's maybe, maybe two or three creep waves stacked up. That means that your supports. Uh, I mean, that that means that your offlaner is always going to get the experience there, so you don't really need to cover him. When you go aggressive, Charlie, and one of the main pr reasons for going aggressive is to obviously 
pressure their safe lane, but also to ensure your off laner gets farmed. Hmm. So when your creep wave is too like that, I don't think they need to play as aggressive. They can just wait and farm wave at the tower. And looking nice. at mid, Smash is playing really well. Uh, he has he's going even versus uh, the TA. Yeah. I think the uh, main reason for this is the first wave, the TA is very scared as well. So, so Smash on land ping. Usually this guy plays on 150 <laughs> ping. That's yeah. you know what they said the exact same thing in the airport uh, in the, the call from the airport, and they said we are used to playing on crazy ping. This could uh -oh. be a dead oh. batter. That's a long and range skull. Well, wow. nice. Oh, a couple more punches. Yeah. All right, any kind of damage over time. They have two that were used there yeah. to take off refraction. This game is going really well for not today actually right now. It, it is. I I think uh, people have uh, underrated them simply because they haven't seen them. I mean, I think also Cloud9 is one of those teams. They can win. They can win TI, and they can also lose to any team really because they have a uh, their lanes are always very weak, and you can usually they're very vulnerable like in this game right now. Why do you think their lanes are weak? What, what, is that because they the they way their play so style the way their play style is that they don't care much about the lanes for Dota, meaning they don't care about winning every lane. If you watch a lot of their games, they'll lose their lanes, but they always come back because of a nice team fight or you know, they have that kind of play style. Even at TI, you saw that. Several times they'll sack their safe lane. Envy is one of the carries I think that gets the least help in the actual in Dota. I think Often. they do a good job of recognizing what core items need to be picked yeah, up before yeah. they can start fighting. That's a, that's also a big thing. They go on these blink timings on their fada. Oh shit! You gotta oh close god, the, the console, console window. Oh, god. Jesus oh, Christ! Oh, oh my god. god! Who is this, Obs? Good god! <laughs> flame him. Fire! It's LD. Fire yeah, LD. Flame LD. <laughs> LD, can we get a sacking in here, please? I'll blame Zyri too. <laughs> well, more roaming from Wraith King. He's level two at the moment. He is loving a bit of the roam. Now, on on support, Wraith King, do you just get a blink dagger and go ham? Yeah, a blink blade mill. He's I gonna think get that stomped. Oh, and a stun from Venge. Do we have Here it comes. To off, though. And uh, armor reduction there, but he gets the stun on ET. In comes Death Prophet. Oh, this is bad. She, she might suffer. Oh, his haste rune. So quick. Oh, the timing gets a smash rune. A haste rune. Sorry, oh. not a smash rune. That was bad. I don't know why he turned around there. He might survive. He might come back for a kill. He might actually. Smash! Nice! Smash, Smash give Dota! Dota. Oh, oh, nice! Smash. Secured! E in trouble! Does he have time warp? Seven Smash. seconds, he's gonna die. Nice wow. body blocks. That was unbelievable recognition from Smash. Yeah, was I was so like, you gotta get out of there. Nice arrow. Does he have lead? Not for 16. He's gonna go down. Pops his one, doesn't matter. Oh, Fart is gonna be able to get out. Smash es mi pastor. Now I can see why he's so popular. <laughs> yeah. Good God! Not that I didn't know people. Like, how many players would have just bailed on that fight? That was a nice play for him. Really, really them. Kiting them out, fight. waiting for his team to come. That was actually a great TP for from the Tide Hunter. Yeah. I think another that Ravage hit. I think everyone, including Envy, and the biggest kill there was they called, killed Envy and Death Prophet. Uh, he still didn't level up his ulti, right? What level is he right now? Yeah. So, Death Prophet got like one kill yeah, and like, three assists. Yeah, yeah. Or two assists or so without using ultimate. So. Yeah. They've used Ravage, but they have DPLT. And with that first DPLT, they want to pressure a tower usually. And check out those stacks there for Smash. Yeah, and what nice. Smash is going to do is he's going to give mid lane to the Wraith King so Wraith King can get level 6. That's smart, yeah. Is this he going is for a really, quick Yule? Really, is that this item build? Really good stuff. Yeah. Uh, I think Not Today should maybe transition this Wraith King into a uh, core. I think um, the, the AA just goes full support, and Wraith King goes and buys a Midas, or he just goes for the treads and. I've been Blink seeing that a lot lately uh, from the last couple patches where you have somebody kind of place very hard support at the very early, early stages, but they have the capability to come back, whether it be giving up a lane so other people can roam, or like a Sand King who can just go into the jungle. Mm. I've been seeing that a lot lately, and it's it's opened up the doors for heroes like like we're seeing here with it feels King. It feels a bit like one of those gambles where, let's say you do that early on. Let's say those moves from Wraith King and AA hadn't resulted in kills, hadn't resulted in anything. And then you're going to try and transition him into a core, and he's so far behind. Yeah. It's like a gamble, That's right? the thing, though, with the style appearing, is that it's a very risky style of dual roam. Uh, the style you saw at TI that we used a lot on Liquid and then a few other teams, I think Titan used it occasionally. It's a very risky style, meaning if you don't get these early kills, you fall behind because your supports are so underleveled. Yeah, it's meanwhile, pretty YOLO yeah, early game. Meanwhile, meanwhile, teams like EG, Cloud9, they rely a lot on their safe lane pull to get levels. They play a very safer style. Because roaming style is a lot more... It's something that you can surprise teams with. It's something that you can pull out occasionally. Yeah. I think teams have gotten used to playing versus it, especially at TI. I think before TI, there wasn't as much rule roam, but TI4 bought in a lot of that. And But now it's that you can throw it in occasionally, and teams like Cloud9, where they run these really greedy safe lanes, can, you can take advantage of it. 
as you can see this game uh looking at the cs charts though bone bone 7 is actually quite farmed 51 yeah. cs on Jeez. the soft lane mech i think a reason is that when the tide tp mid to ravage that opens up space for the bottom Just lane right farming down there yeah, and so now he's moved to the jungle i mean he's not going to be happy to see those mud golems who is well you also talked about how <coughs> excuse me how um ta was bottle crowing and whatnot but she's been getting some of the runes so yeah. that means bottle crowing can be pretty effective that, for Magnus, like you, you talked The about. other thing, you know, you were asking, uh, what do the guys think? S4 and uh, and Fly, you were asking, what do you guys think about the double rune? That does mean you can have a bottling off laner. If the yeah. mid goes for top, you'd go for bottom. Yeah, you know, it, you can split a rune up. Right? It's all about who can push the lane now, who can go there. Usually, if you're off laning one v three, it's hard to get the rune because the supports will usually go there. Yeah. But if you're one on one in the off laner, you can push the lane out. The ping top lane. Oh. So. E -E. Ruh -ruh. Once the Wraith King, Marana ult just in time, but nope, he's going to Chronosphere and secure this. Yeah, now that that's that should trigger not today to do something because Void uses Chrono on a support Wraith King. Yeah, and that means that they should go pressure because now they have DPOT as well as Tide Ravage up. This is where uh, not today half the strike, I think. How close is Tide to a blink? As uh, Aoi's going to take the, the bounty room. In fact, Nihawk thinks he can get the kill here. Starstorm doing oh, a ton of damage. Arrow nice even misses. Doesn't matter. Auto attacks are going to TP enough. out. TA can't do anything. That was a nice pickup. And look at Smash. He actually he already rotated top. He gets, he's pressuring Envy. Still hasn't used his ult. He's got it. Is he going to get some help up here and then push? Tide is pressuring bottom, meanwhile. Uh, what was the time? Uh, can we check Tide if he has his blink yet? He oh, does he's very not. Good. He is oh, very well. Wilds. Basically, he is 53 gold away. So that's one branch, man. Yeah. No, oh, actually, that's no, 25. Those are 50 gold now. Yeah, yeah. It's 25 on the cell. So, Fada's, for, uh, Fada's actually going for the um, uh, drums, treads build. A cool thing with TA right now is, uh, I don't know which patch it was, but Cyblades actually works on Ancients now. Oh, jeez. So you can stack the Ancients and farm them with Refract and Cyblades. It's actually pretty sick. Do they not yeah. deal pure damage anymore? Uh, not, no, they still do pure. I just don't know. I, I remember before that TA, the Cyblades, didn't hit the stack, didn't hit the Ancients, mm -hmm. but I've seen a lot of games now lately where the TA side bits hit the splash through the ancients and it's pretty cool. It lets the hero farm quite fast. Especially once you get items. But Fada usually goes for treads, drums, and then usually goes for the BKB. You need a BKB versus not today's item uh, heroes. That's the thing about not today's heroes is that BKB kind of counters all their heroes. Mm. Uh, except the Death Prophet. That's kind of why I wanted to see a core Wraith King because he would give them some physical damage. But once C9 farms maybe two or three BKBs up on their cores, it's uh, it's going to depend on all their fight, all their pure physical damage is going to be on the Death Prophet ult. Mm. Well, Wraith King, we thought, or you brought it up, and I thought I agreed with you. I thought that I agreed with you. No, uh, he was going to be put mid lane because it was going to be opened up a bit. But yeah, he's, he's been roaming still, and he's still the same level from before. He's still level four. Yeah. Just having a look at some effigies and. Uh, Oh, okay, so we're just going to cut to the Gang Beasts battle while we're swapping computers around for Pile I Die. Gang Beasts? Gang My Beasts. Goodness. So, uh... Oh, God. Good Lord. Black That's is all right. super happy behind Black this. is hitting... Oh, here we go. Gang Beasts are wearing top hats or something. I have no idea what That's this a sombrero. Is. I definitely see a top hat and some kind of a baseball cap. Green and blue going at it on the left. What are is they Red doing? A yellow. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this tussle. He's got him on the deck. He's on top of him. Over he goes. He's still clinging on. And down goes yellow. First to fall. Red now. Oh, good okay. lord, no. <laughs> he just couldn't take it anymore. Too much hubris. And now blue. <laughs> look at this baseball cap. Chavy They're thug. actually happy playing. This Kicking is the him. difference between them and EG right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's night and day. He wants to get that sombrero out the way. He can't get Green off. He's just going to cheer and celebrate. Green is out for the count. Back he comes. Can he get him with a nice left? Oh, oh he sucks him wrecked. over the edge. Dance at your <laughs> peril. Green wins. 1-0 <laughs> to Green. Well played. That's a pretty fun looking game. Dude, have you not played it? I've never played that. Oh, it's the best. And now oh, we wow. go atop the bus. Here come the billboards any minute. They've got to try and get people off oh, while they God. can. <laughs> Lots of bumps on the road. Red <laughs> takes a fall. Green and blue. Here come the billboards any second. They're going to be able to duck under them. I don't know what the sombrero is going to do for the action. Is it going to catch? Is it going to flip off? We'll see. Blue's playing it nice and cool. Here come the billboards. Timing is essential. You can jump. All right. Well, he won. <laughs> he, what the? He's so excited. Bam. <laughs> 
Blue wins. I wish we could see who's who though. And uh, oh, this is a this is a good map. See, because blue died, they all get a point for that one. Ah. I think, but uh, it's kind of buggy. I think that thing. But anyway, I met the guys that wrote this, and they're a bunch of very mad, drunk English guys. Whoa. So you're biased. So I am like... a little biased. This game owns. Big fight. Blue KO'd. Green going for up the ramp. He's going to hide at the top there. Yellow's going to go after him. Off camera, we can see red and blue still fighting. I think blue's gone over the side, actually. Green's trying to get out. He can't escape. There's no escape here. He's going to throw himself off the balcony. <laughs> Yellow it's like gets him with a, a nice shot to the chin. Miniature storm spear. Holy jeez. Shocks him over the side. Oh, oh just God. short of the fire. Green able to spring back into life. Goes into the shop. He can hide behind the window there. Yellow. Decides to jump over. Red two. This is risky. Straight through the window. They're going to find Green in the corner. They're going to pin him and tuck him out. Yellow's got him in the chops. Wow. Great casting, man. <laughs> Red. He's going to go outside. He's he's in control of the door now. Yellow wants to get out the window. Red has him by the arm. Slams him into a wall. He's out cold. Green is going to stand by and watch this. Can they get Yellow over the balcony? No, they can't. He gets a lucky shot on Red. He's down. They're going to chase his yellow. I don't know who yellow is, but they want him. He's on the conveyor belt. This is risky. Is he going to get caught on the boxes? No. Red wants to join in and back up we go. Up the ramp. Green can't make it. Now red and green are going to go at it. Sombrero still intact. And they're in. Oh, this could be clutch. Did they get yellow over the edge? He's on the conveyor belt. He's jumping over the boxes. He just makes it to safety. Red, though, in trouble. Caught on the boxes. Nowhere to run. He's still making it. He just gets out. Oh, my goodness. That was close. Yellow should back off and go around. Oh. Green! Down he goes! And now it's yellow against red. Yellow against red. Big, <laughs> big swinging. And red decides to stand by and let the boxes do the rest. But yellow oh. outboxes him! He might be good to go! Oh no! He's caught in the box too! Oh. Poor yellow! Red takes it! Well played! Who knew exercising on a treadmill would be so fun? It's this Mario is Party. 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 <laughs> Now the Ferris wheel. Probably the, the worst of the levels. Red taking a quick tumble. Those planks give way so if you hard. stand on them for too long. Mm. But, okay, uh, yeah. Oh, you can actually live through that? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. Over the edge. There goes a plank. Green needs to be careful. Sombrero doesn't save him. Down he goes. I don't know where Red is. I think he's KO'd. They're just chilling on these uh, these carriages here. There's no time limit, so some of these games can go on a very long time. But eventually people get bored. This level looks like it's based off of downtown Seattle. Did oh, you yeah. the Ferris wheel there? No, I haven't. Looks exactly the same. <laughs> Even the people I mean, look the same. <coughs> Ferris wheels pretty much all look the same, dude. No, it's like right next to a lake, just like that. That's the sea, I think. Oh, it's the sea as well. Seattle. Okay. I get you. I get you. Sea Apple. That's why they called it that. That's right. Makes Very sense. good. Uh, oh, gosh. That's a good shot. Yellow is down. I don't think he's coming back. Blue doesn't know how to drag. Trying to figure out the <laughs> buttons here. Gets him he up and yellow up, yeah. with a good shot. Blue, though, sends him back down. He's <laughs> trying to figure out what's going on. There, he's got him by the legs. Oh, the planks, though. Oh, the no. planks. And Yellow wins. But no, he dies too. Needed to hold on a little longer. <laughs> I think that's one point Wait, What's each. this game called again? Gang Beasts. Gang Beasts. Okay. Oh, no, this is the worst map. No offense to the makers of this game, but... Uh, oh, they've shrunk it. Okay, they've made it smaller. They've improved it. Because originally the map was too long. Oh, no, it still is long. This is a new one, then. This might be the one with the subway car that goes this back and forth in front. This a Gang Pro. This dude, Perian's There's the subway this game, car. No doubt about it. There's the subway car, and Yellow is going to go on the track. There's a subway coming. Here comes a train. Yellow, where are you going to go? He's going to try and climb up. This is the new patch version. I haven't played this version yet. You can climb if you can figure out how. He's trying to buy himself some time. Move down the other end of the track. Where's the train? Here it comes. Oh, Run, God. Yellow! Oh, God. <laughs> no, it's bang on time, sadly, for him. And uh, red and blue dancing around these cones. Blue, careful. Needs to be careful. There is momentum in this game. One good shot here will take him down. There he is. And Red's looking for the track kick. But he gets a nice comebacker. Takes Red out. This is a vicious slugfest. Red looks drunk. Waving his arms all over the place. Wearing a top hat. That doesn't make him classy. He's going to chuck him on the track anyway. <laughs> down. Does he have Blue a monocle down. too? Huh? Does he have a monocle as well? Yeah, I think he has. Oh, oh what happened? Quit. What the hell? WTF. Boo. You should go pro in this it game. Be disgusted. Yeah, create a tournament. I'll give you like ten dollars to help for the prize pool. Oh man! And you're the official cast. Are we on pausing? Way. Oh shit, we gotta play Dota now. Dota 2. What the hell is this game? Boy, the graphics just oh. looks so much worse now. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I could take the 3D. Well, I guess that was 3D <laughs> to some degree. So we're back with the Peruvians versus Cloud9, who aren't quite North American. 
they don't know what they are, honestly. When it works to their advantage, that's what they are. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Bobo saying, agrees with me on that one. He's saying it like how it is. <laughs> so where were we? Tidehunter oh, look should have the blink by now, and here we're seeing the Ancients go to work, like he talked about the side blades. Work pretty sick. Very well. That is gross. I don't actually remember it not working, to be honest. I, at some point, it was. Oh, look at this quick TP smoke it, really. here. That's a scary combo. Can they kill EE here, though? That's the problem. Oh, They're the going to go for Venge. Oh, Pylai die. die. Goodbye. That is a dead Venge. Pylai dead. Pylai yeah. die tanking so they get a first kill. carry. Hey, hey, Blast, just in case. And uh, that will force back the faceless void. What do you get here after you've got drums BKB? Do you want to get a Desso on Fata? No, he's probably going to go some Blink or some Daedalus or some shit. Really? Blink? I haven't seen Blink on TA in a long time. I mean, it it's helps because TA, like, when with Mel then Refract, you don't... Your damage is all based on, like, how many attacks you can get off in the fight, you know? Mm -hmm. You can get off maybe three or four Meld strikes in an actual fight. You can do a lot of damage. So, Blink, that's one of the reasons I love Blink always on TA. Yeah, I've, I've missed the Blink quite a bit. But It's not as... He probably he probably go Daedalus or something like that. Daedalus would be good. Well, Bone Seven and Pylai Dyer smoked. Bone Seven has the Blink Dagger. Doesn't want to show it off. Surprise factor is pretty big in this matchup, but Tidehunter. They see the Death Prophet there. They they're trying to burst him. Yeah. If they can get Smash off, if they can get if they can kill Smash, if they can get Smash off. Oh, get wrecked! Look at that pun pun left and right, man. So good. Uh oh. Oof. Bone Seven gets a beautiful oh. Ravage onto Tide. two. No ult for you, Wraith King. He's down and out. And now the Death Prophet ult finally coming out. This is the first one we've seen, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. He's going to continue to try to pressure his Fata's getting low. Look Smash. how it resets the fight. Echo nice stomped, echo. getting blocked, but little do they know he's not even to be seen. Here he comes. Oh, he's going to get an easy call. Oh, yeah. What a man. What a beast. He just knows exactly when to stay and go. He doesn't give a Dust shit. Dust is popped, even though the Moonlight Shadow's already gone. Arrow not quite going to connect. Fata attempting to run away. The he traps there. He has a trap to possible slow skewer too. coming well, he doesn't here. Want to apparently. There's the Yules. Oh. Refractions up. See if it's enough to take out Fata. Oh, There's a Chrono Spear on two, along with the Shockwave. Nihawk getting very low. He's gonna attempt to run away. Oh, oh, he's gonna oh, completely misses. miss. And they're gonna back it up. I don't think somehow lost nobody's anyone, died in this mini engagement. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible. This is crazy. This has been going on for like a minute. And nobody's <laughs> died. Did somebody die and come back? Yeah, there was a couple deaths at the beginning. Yeah, that was actually. That there we go. I wasn't. I zoned out for a minute there. It's it's very late for me in UK time. Even though that <laughs> fight was a, uh, it says that not today got a gold lead. I think it was actually better for Cloud Nine because they didn't lose that. They didn't lose any of their big cores. They, and they lost they Void. Yeah, did they? Yeah, they lost Void and Elder Titan versus just Wraith King. Oh, AFK. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> for my brain. It's okay. Jet lag. I do it all the time. That's my. Okay. Well, casting, whatever. Anyway. Uh, even if they lost the void, it still wasn't as bad because they didn't. It could have been a lot worse. They didn't really lose any map control, so. All I can think about is gang beasts. God damn, that's a good game, right, Pycat? Pycat, why don't you join us, bro? Pick up the headset. Yeah, put on the headset, dude. No, that's not Pycat. That's. Patchcat. Sorry, Patch what, what did you say? Just now. <laughs> uh, I didn't catch that. Oh, is that Malk? Oh, that's that's oh, hi, Jacob. Amazing Malk! Holy shit. So we have uh, Faceless Void here on the bottom lane. Here's a Hishun in this bottom. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a bit uh, sad they haven't picked up an Earthshaker here on C9 today, <laughs> and uh, there's unfortunately <laughs> no pit out in the game yet. <laughs> it's 100% dead I do believe that uh, if uh, not today, uh, first picks morphing in the next game, they are going to have a 99.9% .9 chance of winning. <laughs> oh, Milk, where's, um, what, what hero do you think not today could have picked instead of that Marana? I think they could have picked a Pit Lord. Uh, they should definitely pick the Pit Lord. It's uh, one of the most potent carries in the game. And uh, we see here Vent stunning the Tide. Not a good move. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I've seen. I've heard some good impressions. That's like that's insane. Hundred yeah, percent dead that is on. Insane. Very well done. Who else can you do? Let's, let's you can do the, the guy the trailer. Bar. You know the trailers. Oh. In a world, that guy. <clears throat> In a world. You do trailer guy. One man, one venge. He wanted to swap his ally, but there was a ravage. <laughs> this year, venge dies. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> not too bad, I have to say. Not too bad at all. <coughs> Wraith King desperately wants to get to level 6. There's two levels in Vampiric Aura, and there's the Mask of Madness on Void. Uh, who else you got, Pycat? Oh, um... Russian. Yeah, we can do some Russian cast. I wanted to hear Vlad do some casting in right, English, so right, right. let's just hear that. Well, 
There's not much happening right now. It's okay. So you can't do a Russian cast unless something is <laughs> yeah, happening. Right. Host, and also right? you have to wait for the A ult, because that's like the perfect opportunity. Okay, okay. Yeah. Alright, next team fight yeah, is yeah, reserved yeah. for yeah, you. Yeah, you then. just keep it going. Alright, I'll absolutely. try to I'll try to, you know. So just Tide go with working it. on is he actually going for a mech on Tide? I believe so. As exorcism was used. Can you use on, the uh, bounty rune for God's sake? I hate it when they keep it in the bottle. Oi oi oi, apparato ulta, fata Roshan, oi oi oi. Minus no one. <laughs> Dead on. Dead on. Might as well be Velat right. sitting here. Yeah. Just <laughs> like <laughs> quickly checks over his shoulder just to make sure Velat's not there. He's scared. A little scared of Velat. Who isn't scared of Velat? When he, only when he's drunk? Yeah, probably okay. a bit. Tide, almost so done with it. Yeah. How, how often do we see mech on Tide these days? Mm, I'm, yeah, not, I'm, not, I'm not a huge fan of the... I, I can see the concept for why. Just here, once this hero gets Blink Refresher to force stuff, he's like the best hero in the game. But I understand the reasoning for mech because they want to press the issue and mech is good to risk Elder Titan, the spam that Cloud9 has. You with think the ET. other issue is who else are they going to get it on? I mean, AA is going to take forever to farm it up. Wraith King, you want other things on him. Mirana ain't going to get it. So get it on the tide. He's got his blink, so why not, right? Yeah. Arrow went somewhere, but yeah, they're scouting out the ancients. Fada's actually can have his BKB quite soon. Yeah, he's got a lot of moolah. Yeah, he's actually abusing this ancients uh, quite quite well. Bottom ult. Bottom, bottom. Rune. Here they come. They're all in this. They are. Evo. Is he a tide running up ravage. the cliff here? He's going for the team fight. <laughs> He's going for the team very, fight. Very, very good. Let's talk like this odd game now. Okay. Very good. Uh, so you can see here, Tide uh, has purchased a mech. Tide has purchased a mech. Uh, let's go to the. Go let's open up a 7 Eleven pie cat. Your turn, Pyrian. I'm not going to do that. Try, come on. It's three uh, out of four. I want some curry. No. no you don't like to eat delicious curry? Chicken tikka? Uh, very I good do. for you? Chicken tikka chicken masala. Chicken tikka masala. Very, very good, very good. Very good. I'm too square. Alright, we need to do a full cast like that sometime. That's amazing. I think people. And now uh, Cloud9 has smoked bottom lane, they're going bottom, they want to uh, save some money on their car entrance. Uh, they oh use RP. Oh Spectacular RP oh. from Bone 7. Oh. It's oh. two oh. different oh, and what a revenge! Oh lord. It hits two people. It's too delicious for me, Bone 7 trying to run away. <laughs> run away like little Bone Chan. Now. What is wrong with you? I don't... <laughs> oh, Witch Doctor kind of sounds Indian sometimes. Honestly. I don't know if he's meant to be Caribbean or what, but... Witch well, he's, he's supposed to be like Jamaican. He no, he wasted oh, his Jesus. mana. Jesus! He got turned into a pile of bones! Yeah. Cloud9 getting outplayed. I mean, not today's getting kind of outplayed right now. Their, their lineup just is very snowball-y, meaning they, couldn't, they can't really lose these engagements. And we see here absolutely spectacular play coming out here from the Magnus. That RP into Skewer, just brilliant, just brilliant. Following up with that bench done, there's nothing the bottom can do. Don't yeah, say such a that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's brilliant. That's a very golf type accent. That's what I thought. It sounds like first. a football commentator. Or, yeah, like soccer, that's true. Football, soccer. Football. Football cricket, soccer. a cricket. And Andy Watson. Cricket, yeah. Andy oh, Watson. Ricky Ponting. Elder Titan slowly working on his Yules. And exor this is the first tower exorcism, right? The other one was just taken out. Uh, in an engagement, yeah. more than anything. Yeah. So they can't get tier one bot. There you go. RP is not up, so oh, doubtful oh, that Cloud9 oh. wants to go for this. Smash could be in trouble now. Oh, slowed. <laughs> Ghosts. Oh, 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 no. oh, 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 Time is off cool, he's getting Jesus. trapped. Hey Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can see here, uh, I know today are uh, struggling with finding the tower kill. <laughs> <laughs> Bulba is literally Sam ruffling right now. <laughs> literally <laughs> ruffling. Viva Peru. Not today. We see here, uh, <laughs> the prophet is going for the Roro Eto. <laughs> but it will not do so much against Templar Assassin BKB. <laughs> <laughs> and now we see uh, Eternal Enemy, he's killing the bottom. The <laughs> uh, Paladai is getting knocked down by the <laughs> Prophet and Red King. Oh no, oh, Minus Paladai. Oh my god. Oh, in case they want to run away? Oh, I'm <laughs> Come on, Esse. <laughs> hey, cabron. Uh oh. Hey, cabron, back. back me up, eh? Esse. 
Ah, oh no, amigo. They got me. <laughs> How many accents can you do? Good God, man. I don't know. I don't know. This I, is I never counted. You should count. Okay, how many have you done? You've done like five. I think he's done five. I think he's done five. He did Malk, a random Might English guy, random Indian guy. Was that English or? I thought that was Australian. No. I think it's English. It yeah, English. I think okay. it's English. Can you do Australian? <laughs> minor, just minor tweaks. I think I would have to like hear myself yeah. talk first. Yeah. Yeah. Put some shrimp on the Barbie. Say that. You can say that one. That's an easy one. Uh, they do not, not say nah. that. I know, but that's, yeah, nah, that's nah, the nah, story. We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. He can give us a nice Aussie phrase. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe later. Maybe all right, later. All right. Save it for another day. We should commentate on the game. No. I yeah, exactly. This. What happened? Uh, I think this Cloud9 started happens. to take control. I, th I honestly think Not Today played really well at the start. But, Sound uh, kind of like it's over. Oh! Well, big Ravage. No, only one, though. Actually, they hit catch two. this. BKB, though. This is exactly what Sam said. Once the oh, BKB man. comes out. They got to get a tier That's two, cool. or this is not worth it at all. Yeah. They're going to have to keep going here. She wants to get back in. They got a creep wave with a catapult and the ult. Smash is level 13. Got yours. Got the uh, Rod of Owie. Oh, P catches him, but the skewer oh, does not. Whoa. And Bone 7 is going to get blown up, almost. He's on 130 health. EE with the Chronosphere is going to finish off Smash. Oh, oh my god, no! Oh. He does it, Marana taking him out. This is exactly what Not Today wanted. They want to turn this around now. Vamos Can they get faster? Viva oh. Peru! Viva think, Peru! Oi, oi. Minus 2! Bottom! Templar Assassin! Run away! <laughs> Minus 3! Commando Not Today! 3 dead! <laughs> That My was goodness. huge for not today. If they had initiated one second earlier, Death Prophet would have been dead and the fight would have been over. But the heals from the exorcism were ridiculous. Incredible. Wow. So, a uh, big old turnaround there. Look at that. 17.5 gold plus 1,000. So, that's more, almost like three, 3k diff. But there's the Yules. That sets up Elder Titan. Yep. They have a lot of defensive capability <coughs> with swap. A this A is actually AC. quite fat. Almost X. Dang. Oh wow, you're right. Which minus Jesus. 23 minutes. Fog. That's because he stole first blood, if I remember correctly, <laughs> among other kills. Secured. Yeah. AA ult. Ouch. Wow. Oh fuck me. Think once he gets Axe, how yeah. much that shit's. If gonna that hurt. was Axe, he might have actually died with yeah, look at this. I think he actually would. <laughs> He's done a uh, 350 health. Yeah, Axe. Like one shot on full health, that could almost yeah, kill him. I think he might actually die. Interesting item build on this uh, DP going. He's gonna go Yash uh, uh, Shiva's next. Oh. Do you backtrack? Can you backtrack the ticks at all? Yeah. Okay. Come back for both so the initial damage and the uh, ticks. Well. Yeah. Etos is actually a pretty cool pickup versus these heroes because uh, he can just keep Etosing the TA when his BKB is down and kite him around in the fights. Smart. If this goes into a long game, yeah, that's gonna be a problem for them. His BKB TA. So do you think that a minute ago we were sort of saying not today might be struggling? Do you think that with that fight, a yeah. little bit of luck that comes their way, that just the DP gets the heal back in time, do you think that could turn things around for them? Yeah, got I, an think I think so. If, if this DP Artizzi gets Shivas, it's going to be really hard cast, to kill him. Mm. Tizzy, why are you trying to ruin the casting, man? Artizzy, you want to sit down? Hey, sit down. Hey, Here. Here, Peru sit down is going to win, according oh, yeah, to Artizzy. Artizi, what's up? Hello. Hello. Well, it feels so weird. You're yeah. your caster now. It's because only one ear can... What? Sound. Only sound coming out of one ear. Yeah. yeah. It's All like right. being on the telephone. You talk on the phone, you talk... You can only hear in one ear. It just so feels uh, weird. What do you think about this game, Atua? <laughs> 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 I mean, I keep thinking Peru's gonna win, but then something bad happens and they lose. <laughs> Gustav, come here. <laughs> oh my god. He's dodging. There is a game on. Wait, they got top tower with the DP ulti? Yeah. For Roche? I don't know, I think um, Peru's gonna lose this game slowly. But really? surely, yeah. You think as it goes on? You got you believing in your boy E? Huh? <coughs> Are you believing in your boy? Uh, it depends, man. Do you see his last chrono? It was not good. <laughs> Shots. Jackie, Flames real. No, I'm a nice guy. I don't flame. Alright, I'm done, dude. Peace. <laughs> Came on, flamed oh, left. Holy Rip. What? I don't know, it's just how it works. And there's a go. 
Yeah. He's back. <laughs> Jesus, he got ADD or something. He really does, actually. Oh, really? I'm yeah, not he's, sitting, dude. He's diagnosed with oh, it. Oh, no offense. Is he back? All right. You don't mean that. I, <laughs> I really do. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, don't oh. I feel like a schmuck? That is a dead... Oh. Wasn't there a TV yeah. over there? What happened to that? There he is. Huh? What's the, wasn't there a who? What, there's a TV right there. Wasn't there a TV? Uh, no, Wait, we said the, there should be a TV. What's the ET there? buying? He bought a blade of electricity. He's he's gonna buy uh, SNY. Oh. Yeah. BKB is gonna be forced here. Oh. He a TV. big punch down. Wait, they could... Smash! Kachal me! This is BKB out, do you know? Titus Ravage. I think about seven? Eight. Ah, then I can eight. Eight. So, no today... I, not today, sorry. Doing, I think, what uh, what they needed to do and just keep the pressure up, you think? Take the fight to... Yeah, this this AA Cloud9. getting more and more farmed is going to be a big problem for Cloud9, I think. We can get a good old AALT off in the fight and DP can survive. That's the big one there. Yeah. yeah. You agree, Artur? Yeah, I agree. I think DP needs to survive for them to win a fight. But it's going to be hard for him to survive, I think. Yeah, because he's always going to get chronoed. Yeah, they, they have, have two BKBs, right? Does Void have a BKB? Oh, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He's pretty poor. There's going to be a timing window where they're going to have BKBs on their cores and they're just going to chrono him no one can save him. Mm. TSBKB is running low though. Oh, Refresher's up soon though. Yeah. That could be it. The game changer. There it is. Jesus. <laughs> so, 16 to 10, 27 minutes in. No today, had a good start, then had a little bit of a dip. Cloud9 coming back into it. What did RTZ say? Nothing useful. He called you a bunch of names and he left. What a jerk. And then he came back and called your mother a bunch of names and left again. Oh my god, unacceptable. Yes. T these teenagers, man. We didn't stop. Swear. We didn't stop it. We laughed and we laughed. <laughs> <laughs> Can Milk you do an RTZ impression? No, that's That's impossible. one that would be cool to do. Uh, I'll, I'll try to work on it. All right. Next time. I mean, I think honestly, you, all you have to do is just say boys a lot. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Well, dude. Sing Sing does it. Yeah. That's not quite an impression, though. Yeah, fair enough. Yolner, nice. What did I miss in the actual game? Not much. Great. Kill on ET. Oh. Interesting. Is he going Yules? Yeah, he's not, no, no, I'm, he's going uh, S and Y. S and Y, okay. Yeah. Makes the spear move really, really fast, so it's hard to miss. Oh, stops. that's true. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's nice. Smash has his owie, rod of owie. Yep. Okay, the pressure's almost. I know. I'm just, I'm just commenting. Okay, sorry. You know, yep. just, just showing or talking about what I'm seeing on okay, the actual okay. screen I here. Get okay. You. I get you. His red king's really broke, though. Yeah, he yeah, is. He is but he's like, he's like the position most broke six. Ever. So going back to our original conversation. Actually, I want Podcat's uh, opinion on this. Wraith King as core instead of Marana. Oh, do you think it would have made any difference? We can see an RP on Marana right now. It's gonna oh, try to go in here, but it's just way too much damage. Was it on CD or what? So if you think the cores were switched, would have made any difference? Uh, I think it's harder. I, I mean, well, uh, it's kind of hard because Wraith King and uh, um, Potom and AA roaming together yeah, is really hard. Weak. There's yeah. you can't do much because you don't have any stun or whatever. You know, if you have Wraith King and AA together, you have a stun followed by this nuke. Uh, and also, it's kind of hard playing a core Wraith King, I think, against Void and uh, Magnus ET. They have so much, like, he's just going to get kited, I feel. Um, the one positive thing would be, I guess, it is kind of good against Void because of the Chrono. You, you get Chrono, but then you spawn. Mm -hmm. But I think he would, like, like, his problem would be he would need a lot of mobility. Like, it, it would be hard. The early game is much harder for the bottom and AA to do stuff they wouldn't than for a Wraith King AA. They would have had to win safe lane if they had core Wraith King as well. Most yeah, probably. Likely. I mean, the other thing is, is all right, his ult means he'll come back, but then Void, because yeah. he's got so little, Void doesn't give a shit about him in the Chronosphere anyway, right? So mm. it's just like, who cares? He's not going to yeah. do anything in the fight. Kill everybody he's just else. A, he's basically just a stun and then yeah. the... Yeah. the uh, it might actually be. Yeah. I'm not sure. It, I mean, we'll see how it plays out, but I think a fat Wraith King could definitely have done something I think this what game. they should have done maybe is they have uh, transitioned the Wraith King into a core. Yeah. Like, instead of... Instead of the AA. Because, yeah. like, even though this AA, he gets his Midas and Axe, after that, what is he going to get? There's, there's some not that much. Some force staff you don't get or whatever. That much Nothing more that useful. Yeah. If this Wraith King instead was transitioning, it would be better for them. So how about now the AA can just chill on the farm? It's yeah, definitely. Not an think intended so. pun. But he can chill on the farm and then Wraith King can go and get a load of Mula, right? Mm. But it, do you think it's a bit late? I mean, what's he going to get a blink now? And that's it. BKB up on Void. They're going to keep going here. They have Ravage, of course. 
I don't know much he longer is on the DPO. Right? Well, exorcism's getting low yeah. here. But they, they need We're to just gonna put some damage back, and get the, get the heck yeah, out. Yeah, Magnus has the refresher, and Void just picked up a full BKB. So wait, do we have refresher on Magnus? No. No, no, no. Oh, did he I say... Said, oh, we need to Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. I think maybe the Wraith King should just go for Midas and just start farming. Do you think there's time? Yeah, sure. Okay. This game's gonna go late. I think so, yeah. So. I think they can just take it late. It's hard to break base against the tide with yeah, their pressure. Both, both, both teams have, have good break, base breaking. It's all about the execution. All about that. Oof, yeah, you don't want to get caught in that. EE -E runs off to the jungle. Uh, this could be bad for Potom here. Sorry, not Potom. Potom, Potom. Potom. King. Top <laughs> lane, Yules, Echo Stomp is con gonna connect. <laughs> And the Elder Titan ult to follow. They're gonna get rid of his ult at the very least. The question is gonna get more. Twice, it looks the like. reinforcements aren't there. Yeah, there's no Skewers way. Skewers him down to the white and void. This is Quite nearly wasting though, time. that his team didn't rotate earlier. Because they were on him for so long. AL was used come. somewhere. I oh, don't know. It just came off cooldown. Maybe yeah. if Tide instantly just ran up there. Yeah, I think so. What triggers your Indian accent when you say bottom bottom? Bottom bottom. I don't know. It, that's true. It does. There's a couple things that trigger my Indian accent. Trigger. It's just like a, it sounds very Indian. Bottom, 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 bottom. Yeah. Bottom, right. bottom. It actually does. I'll think of some more. That it gets triggered randomly though. What else triggers it? I don't know. I can't. I'm trying to think of it <laughs> right now. I can't do it on the spot. Hmm. There's some other Dota ones actually. I can't think of it though. So, Bone 7, wonder if he's going to go for the Refresher or for the BKB. They've got Climbing in Gang Beasts now, haven't they? I haven't played it since they added Climbing. Huh? You can climb. Oh, I don't know. I, I We played, but I, I didn't really understand how to use any yeah, of my... It, it, there's an art I, to it. I really do. Yeah. There but is, you, can, you can climb. You didn't used to be able to, but you oh, can. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Even a BKB now on Magnus, so... I think we're going to have to... To test it oh, out yeah. later. Wait, mean, who is winning? Raise, like, you can raise yeah. your arms oh, you can. one at a time, right? Oh, so you have okay. to sort of raise one, hold uh, on, raise the other. Oh, oh e nice. Great BKB TP. E with the, the BKB TP. The fake rabbit. E with the BKB the TP. And he's the BKB. Out. BKB. <laughs> and the TP is out to <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> Bone 7. Rocking at BKB. Tunak Tunaku, da da da. What does Death Prophet get? Tunak Tunaku, da da da. Tunak Tunaku, Tunak Tunaku. What is that? It's a song, dude. You know, two that's an look. amazing song. Get cultured, Pyrian. Oh, I'm sorry. One of the best songs. Oh, oh. shit, son! Walked into that Whoa. one. Oh, oh my oh. goodness! He has no mana. Oh, no. Oh, man. Well, it's a one for one for now, but the Chronosphere catches two. Envy dies, though. Yeah, this isn't looking good. The swap back into trouble. Mm. Did Tide have no mana? Yeah, he didn't have mana for double ravage. Uh, That's the that problem. Was, oh, if he, he had the double ravage. Build. If he went for yeah, force mech, instead of the mech, he would have had for both. That's true. Then I think the fight could have been different. That was big. That's yeah. a big, bit of a mistake, no? If he got that yeah. one ravage off... The this is why I think like, this mech build, is, it can be nice, but I don't like it so much. I prefer the force stuff, though, because you, you get more mana from the force stuff. And then you actually have enough for both ravages. And if you had both ravages there, it would have changed a lot. Well, they yeah. did get three kills there, and uh, they didn't really lose much because yeah. AA picked up some on the back with the ult there. But uh, mm. I mean, it wasn't too bad. But uh, the TA I, I think it favored C9. Mm. And not to touch on this more, but the AA getting the farm instead of the Wraith King. Yeah. Now that there's like three BKBs, is it on Cloud Nine? This Wraith King yeah. is just yeah. very little. This AA is actually going for Hex. If he, I mean, if he gets that and and can can get it off, it would be really nice. But the thing is, it's so hard for this AA because he wants to be out, out of the fight to throw these ALs yeah. because they're bigger if the longer away, far, further away. And also, he doesn't want to get caught in some of these spells like Chrono and whatnot. So and that's why I think if they had just given the farm to Wraith King, it would have been better. Mistakes were made. Yeah. Fogged is going to hear at the end of this game. <laughs> Believe you me. This is the first game that not today's playing today, right? Mm. And I think it's out of... They're going to have... Another one tonight, this I believe. This is their first game at a LAN outside of Peru, apart from a oh. small one that they played in Brazil. So this is their yes. debut, essentially, in competitive Dota uh, at LAN events. Yeah. So, uh, well, I think, I think everyone, we can agree that they're considered the uh, the underdogs, to say the least. But they're, they are. they're doing a good job. They are. I mean, I mean in so no far. way has this been a rollover. Right, over. absolutely. 
How much scouting did you do you guys do? Like just as an example, uh, for not today for this tournament. <coughs> Us? Yeah. Uh, not at all. Watch, uh, but you watch some of the games already, so you know mm. kind of what they play. I think they play a lot of these offensive trials, and so yeah. I mean, you you do some. Like just general, you you kind of watch all teams, and then before you play them, I think you you just watch every team kind of. Right. Oh, Eternal Amy's oh, working on that tier two. Oh, nice. BKB's oh, forced nice. though. BKB should be down to like five. Yeah, it must be by now. It must be. Yeah, oh, six. 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 Yeah. Are they gonna go? Not oh, smash. Boy. Pops the ult. There's oh. another, another RP on him. And, uh, oh, well, they get the Wraith King. Oh my God. DP's fine. Tower's still oh, up. Oh, 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 no. He catches. The AA ult doesn't catch anybody, I don't think. And he's able to walk away. They don't even lose the tower. Tide Wraith still King has no mana up. for the second RP. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, no. It was actually, it wasn't even now up. Now he's got... He, he has to refresh, but he won't like, be he able needs to mana. cast it. There's the mana boots. He still boots. doesn't he's have it. Shy. But he can blink. He needs 100. He can blink, mech. Mana. Don't worry. He can do it. Couple mana, yeah. He can do it. It's sad that's to see. That's a big mistake. Oh, that's the problem. This guy, he needs to buy like a force right now. Well, he could almost get a Mystic Staff towards the. No, no, I think the force. Already, they already have a Shiva, so I think he needs to get a force. Force is just such a good item, regardless. That's what Cloud9 has, because after the Chrono, they can force other pe people out. Like, there's no real uh, huge yeah. lockdown. So. Oh, this AO is gonna hurt. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he actually had to jump out there. That was a nice uh, nice jump out from EE. Did Ty yeah. dies here? No. Oh, Definitely Rally. now. <laughs> Evil comes in and the arrow finishes I'm him off. I'm not too sure about this. It's though. a dead venge. I think this is going to be very bad for not today. Uh, I also don't feel like this is a very good Is he going to be able to skewer the tide back in here? Yeah, he is. Yep. Right up the hill. Uh, and he's dead. I'm not sure why they ravaged there. But, yeah. uh, that's, I mean, that's was not that a, a mistake? Fight. Yeah, I think so, definitely. Like, he, there was no reason to go there. The fight all. wasn't on, right? No, I think there was no fighting. The bottom, 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 there bottom, is a fight bottom. happening. Quick, Can hit the hide recap button. Oh. He, he wants this oh. one. He's going to use okay, a chrono and TP out, actually, which I think is the right move. I think things were, and, uh, like, they... Like, not today is kind of getting stressed right now. They don't really know what to do. What did he buy just now on the void? Did he buy an Oblivion Staff? Or a crit? Or what is going on? Yeah, yeah I believe he's yes. gonna refresh. So kind of utility then, huh? Wraith King DC. Yeah, because they already have so much damage yeah. with Vinch, Aura, and ET, Aura, and Spirits, and then power on Void. He doesn't really need. He has Mask Madness, and if he gets lucky, he gets a DD or whatever. So he can just go for utility. And, and he can easily farm down. more items with the yeah. Maelstrom and the. Because you see, their problem for not today is every time this DP just dies to Chrono, and they have nothing to help the DP from the Chrono. Mm. That's the thing. Like, there's not much you can do about it. He needs to get his heart on DP, and then even then, if they focus the DP, they so they're still I mean, in trouble. He's got a Ghost Scepter now, so do you think he's thinking? Hopefully, I can pop this before. Yeah, that's yeah. probably what he's thinking. But I mean, that's it's it's kind of hard. And yeah. then the thing is, because this bottom is so underfarmed, he barely has any items. He has like Mjolnir and not even BGB. Yeah. So he deals no damage almost. So if they actually just take out this DP, then not that's today it, has right? barely yeah. any damage. They need like this AL to land on all heroes, and then after that you still need somehow to make more damage because they're not gonna die just from that ult. I think what you guys were saying about the Wraith King, like I, I didn't see why the Marana needed to be mm. that core hero. Like you were yeah. saying, that, I mean a Wraith King at this I'm point with 40 minutes of farm would be I think they the picked, shit out of people. Yeah, they could have picked maybe a better core for the top lane. Because I, I don't think core Marana is that effective versus the Void core. Hello. We just Hello. paused here briefly. You see Melk over there in the corner, and Hello. Uh, let's see the Indian guy Apu as well. That, say that Malk Indian is okay. Ooh. And Velat as well. Oh, he's over there. That no, just the other like Velat. Pa Pablo. The other Velat. Pa Pablo. <laughs> yeah, Pablo. Uh, Pedro. <laughs> oh, Pedro. Pedro. The very soft-spoken Pedro. <laughs> It's like you're whispering in my ear. Oh, that's that's actually pretty tantalizing, pretty I have to say. Mm. Very nice. I like the way we got our TV pop, propped up on an El Pollo Loco box. Uh, I thought we had a table this morning. Huh? Here. This TV is just on a box. Yeah, wow. where did that come from? I just could have oh, sworn yeah. there was a TV Hey, game. There. Game, please. Anyway. Can we watch? On pause. 
There we go. Butterfly. butterfly. Okay. Well, that's oh, that's quite a few items picked up out of nowhere. Well, yeah. not quite oh, out of nowhere. Refresher and butterfly. Lots of flying and a refresher. Uh, this spells trouble for not today. Now he sold his, actually, his bottle. But I don't know. The thing is, the thing about this, this void, now he sold his bottle. But I don't even think he's going to have mana for this refresher ever. If he intreds, yeah, uses he his ult, I mean, he's not going to have time for... He's not going to have mana for uh, a time walk. I don't even know if he can use it because his refresher is 375. Can you check that? Or how much is it? Yeah. So he's not really going to have mana, I think. Or Does he get like an axe now, maybe? He might yeah, have mana if he, gets axe. he might have to go axe. But do you really need a refresher when you can just get axe? It's like 60 seconds. Yeah, anyway. I don't know. I think I, I in in general I like axe. I think it's good. I don't. Oh, if he can, if he somehow finds enough mana, it's double. Well, either mm. way, double BKB. Yeah, he right? wants the double BKB. It's down to five seconds now. But, I mean, he can't be... even double mask of madness. That's the thing, because then he's gonna use that extra 25 mana. Like at this rate, he he needs something more. He needs levels, I think, so he can get more stats, get more mana. So no today were in charge of the money because of the towers from DP for some time. That they were never in charge of XP. Uh, Cloud9 seemed to have the XP lead throughout the game. Do you think that's because of the roaming that they did early on and the sort of trialing that they did? They spent a lot of time wandering around, whereas uh, Cloud9 just farmed. Like Sam was saying at the start, they like to play that sort of more steady farming game, get their lanes sorted and just sort of get some farm up. Whereas No Today did an awful lot of wandering around with the Wraith King. Is it No Today or Not Today? Not I Today. I keep saying Not Today, but it's written No Today. Well, it, it, no, it is the Not tea. Today. Yeah. It's Right? Yes, it's not today. Not today. But yeah. I, it looks like no today, so I keep saying no today. Okay. Oh. It's not today. I hear the ocean. Anybody hear the ocean there? The ocean? Yeah. That's yeah. the waterfall. That's the... That's, that's the a Eta very spirit, powerful waterfall there. You ever seen a waterfall? Oh, yeah. Oh, the that, that water. Yeah, yeah that, that water. They are pretty powerful, dude. Powerful. Oh, this is trouble. Lots of pings going down. They're just gonna chill. I think they could just fight here forever. Oh, wow. Really that guy is in a troublesome oh, position. Oh, how did they not find him? No. Next, next They level need to right like here. initiate with Potomold or something. Then DP can maybe run in from the back. Because they actually, if they can get this void, they should be able to burst down this void. He doesn't have buyback. That is so. Smash and is hiding uh, around the back here. Yeah. I think this is actually like an opportunity. They know he's okay, they don't have time. Uh -oh. I think they're gonna find him. No way. Pilot is gonna find him. No, he just checks the shop. Smash is just gonna leg oh it. God, he's gonna leg it good. out. There's a shield. Oh, oh boy. Oh my goodness. Why? No ghost scepter he's usage really obviously dead. since he's chrono. He's gonna get stunned. RP oh, to follow. They don't have reveal. They don't have enough. Or He's do dead, they? though. There's He's the skewer. Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> the bird okay. scored him to the gym. Oh, oh okay. catches Zero. out of time, but I don't know what they can do from here other than kill him. It's more of a constant. Oh, they get the gem, though. Oh, and and the someone gem, popped yeah. this BKB. There's a gem, guys. They don't Ma give a shit. Yeah. BKB popped by Magnus. Uh, so, that was... They got the gem. I mean, yeah. they got the DP, but they got the gem, and so it's, it's actually okay, I think. Do you think No Today can still win this? Yeah, I do. I think they yeah. can win. I think the it's like this tide. If he gets his refresher, no, his Shivas now, and he actually has mana once for his refresher and gets yeah. a good refresher all off after the ages expires, or if they just kill the void, then they can win. Do you think it's so it was hard. a mistake for him to go plate mail? First? He really should buy the four stuff. So he, like yeah, I think. Well, I think it's a mistake not getting the four stuff or the mech regardless. I, I think mean, even or now, like, like, like even if you get that mech, you should still get the four stuff. I think because. Uh oh. oh. Oof. Oh. Fast, fast fingers. That was a nice blink. But it's tied. I mean, so many, like twice already, we have seen where he doesn't have mana for his refresher and it yeah. costs him them the fight, you know? So, yeah. And also this Wraith King. I mean, this guy at this point, he's just he's just a stun. He's What's just he a got? stun and he an all a slow. And a blink. Yeah, that's it. So he stuns, he dies, he and comes he back slows. and he stuns again. That's it. Yeah, pretty much. Uh oh. Oh no. Kneehawk. He gets mecked. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks to the, the tide, but. TP, yeah. And he's out. And Very they nice. got a tower. And Potom pop back. Tower One down. More. Thank you for drawing an X there. Okay, they're gonna go mid now. And this is some kind of all in push, I kind of feel, because the bottom just pop back. If they don't get a lot but right now. T is pressuring bottom. Yeah, and also this ET. Look how annoying that hero is. Yeah. It's the so bulk. hard to push against. And TA with his butterfly pushing bottom. Do they just go for it here, do you think? Well, they might as They're well get trade a Rex. Rex there's no probably. Chrono, but there's RP. Yeah, there's RP, no Chrono. T has no Ages anymore. Um, oh, boy! Right under the towers. Chrono yeah, won't he's matter. In trouble, this is a dead Death Prophet. Shivas yeah. and gives it the runaway. She's very quick. Trying to get the Ghosts back on the racks here. They're going to lose the Rex spot on the Yeah, right. they are. Yeah. TA gets that one. At she this point, is this a fine trade for not today, though? No. Two, they got a lane for a lane. Yeah, but they also have buy behind. Hard to say. Oh, I don't know. Dead. Okay, Now it's not a good yeah, trade now it's for not. sure. Air is going to connect. Wraith King he comes back to life. Have Probably just blink out. 
So if nobody and died, that would have been off. a fair trade, you think, for not today? As oh, no. now we're gonna have more action. Oh. Mm. Yeah, down. I think if Long no one up. died, it would have been all right. Now they oh lost three God. heroes and a gem. That was a lot of damage. How many ravages? Did he use one? He didn't use the ravage. No. He didn't use any. He didn't because the Nothing. void was BKB, mm. so he was waiting. Okay. But yeah. it didn't matter. They got all kinds of must up. And now they can just uh, basically run down mid and take mid racks, right? Probably, yeah. yeah. If the if they don't have buyback, I mean, even if they have buyback, they don't have TP all right now, and they're gonna the lose. The King and the DP have buyback. Nope. We can see that, but I don't know. Uh, yeah. The AA can't. But uh, the DP ult is down. I'm not sure that they can fight without it. Hmm. And this base is probably gonna fall pretty yeah, fast. Yeah, they got a lot of. They don't have lift, I think, now. on not today. Stygian so good against these towers. There's a nice Chronosphere onto two. Actually buyback? catches Nihok on the outer edge. He oh, falls to the ground, buys back. Would be a four -man That's good though, he but he's it. gonna refresh and oh, ult again. Oh, BKB mm -hmm. for me. He gives him the runoff. Are they gonna be able to get the racks? He will, he will. Gaming. There he oh, comes. nice, nice. Oh, catches nice. EE. They nice. get him. 82 seconds. He does have buyback though. And the stomp will hold things up a bit. Fata looks like he wants to go back in. He's going to do a lot of damage, but no, the Marana ult. They don't have any reveal, I think. Oh! oh an RP. AA ult does catch him, but the BKB means they don't give a shit. Marana down, Wraith King down, and they're going to back it up. He might be in trouble. Smash decides to just turn around. Ghost Scepter. She's, I think she could kill. I think she could kill. She does a lot of damage. Nice crit. Smash down very low. One more punch. Gets the silence up. There's a swap to safety from Pilot Eye. Oh, and, uh, Rax is saying he died. How, did he oh, just die to the creeps died. that came there? The Death Prophet? Yeah, I think, I think the DP just think he died, died to the creeps right well, there. Well, she has buyback. Uh oh. And Let's hope that's not quit. why. It's a rage quit. Yeah, that's exactly. What <laughs> 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 Land rage quit, right? So I think uh, Owie is like uh, unhappy going with bonkers. this disconnect here because. Uh, Obviously, the, I think they think the game is over at this yes. point, and they're probably right. It pretty much Death is. Prophet does have buyback. Marana doesn't does not. Matter, though. The, Who? The, it doesn't matter if he has buyback. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what is he going to do? Who, the Death Prophet? Yeah. I mean, what are they going to do even if they buy back? Yeah. Well, I mean, her ult is still up, but uh, it might be too little too late still. Yeah. But still, regardless, even though it's not quite over yet, not today. Pretty good showing. I mean, I think a lot of people were worried since, I mean, that it's kind of the case when you don't get to see a team play a lot, you don't exactly know what you're going to get. So they just assume the worst a lot of the times, right? Yeah. I and think that I think they, they played fine. Yeah. I just think that the way they strategized with the Wraith King, as we've been saying, being this five almost. And I mean, it's, it's degrading well, I think to a king <laughs> to be reduced to buttling. Is that actually, you can say buttling? Yeah, he buttles. Oh, that's pretty cool. 100%. We don't have butlers in America. You so. do now, baby. Okay. Purian bringing the butlers. See if they force the Death Prophet ult. They look to be backing out, though, so... Not really interested in fighting. Uh, Roche? Did they have... When's the last time they got Roche? Okay, he'll they be up even shortly. Need it. Jesus, come on. Well, they'll wait for it, regardless. There he is. And even a double damage to boot. He has 5k gold. Wow. What's he gonna buy? What does he buy here? What's Maybe the Yasha AC. for? Is he gonna go? I don't know. S and Y. S and Y, like Bulba was talking about, I guess. Was that last game? Or hmm? I think that was even last game we were talking about that. The S and y. <laughs> what was that? Did he actually just so lazy? He just wants to get swapped nearer. <laughs> he probably asked for it too. Swap me now. Uh, Ages and cheese. Oh, they have a old. Look at the odor coming off that cheese. You can they see have like a pipe a on Vinch, actually. Man, I could go for some cheese. Do we get dinner later, Gina? Of course. Holy jeez. Fata is the one that's hitting hard, though. Hmm. Huh? It's like two shot, that guy. There will be dinner. Thank you. All right. I gotta go get my beer from the hotel. Daddy needs his. his oh, sons. my goodness. Okay. Damn Adding fine. insult to injury, perhaps? With that deck? Okay. Is that usual? That's a good build. Yeah. yeah. You spirit them, and then the, you dig in them. Because of the minus the magic aura. armor from. Natural, Natural order. order. Does he upgrade it? Is the question. So it's just a casual Yasha for the move speed then. 
Also, he does punch really hard if he steals a lot of damage, right? So yeah, but it's usually like attack speed and move speed. Yeah, that's true. Petey's rarely wanna like go into the fight though. They don't wanna punch too much. Uh, not that much. He just wants to run around with spirits on top of people. That's why he's so fast because he wants the spirit to be fast as well. Right. See, oh, the the spirit's fast, of yeah, the spirit's the same move speed as him. So then he can use this, and you also see that both the so sky the and helps with that too, right? Huh? The yule. Yeah, both the yule strangles and Yasha, and you also see like he's abusing this. Uh, um, if you move your, you can keep moving your spirit at the beginning when you're stomping. Oh, something oh. coming on. We've got the game-winning Chronosphere buyback from Death Prophet, and uh, they have smoked around the back here now today, and they're looking to go. Oh, and there's the Ravage. Can they finish him off? There's a the double Ravage. What the hell happened? Oh boy. What oh is going on? Oh my god, the lag is real. He's coming back. <laughs> uh oh. This can't Jesus, be good. That's, that's a huge round. Oh, that's a nice round. Oh, trouble, trouble. He actually but he failed. The death prop. Can he miss? He's pigged. They swap him. He's going to run away. So none of them died. What the hell? Yeah, <laughs> Fogs is like, what the heck? Oh, boy. That was unbelievable. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you may have seen a little freeze frame there. It was pretty dramatic. The game knows when to take a snapshot, game basically. Just, it, we just blew Dota's brain. What? It happens. Vengeful Spirit has a full pipe. We saw that being built quite a while ago. Not very common you see that. But that's actually really good against the AA ult. It's going to prevent you from shattering a lot of the time if you don't get damaged anymore. Yep. You out, Pycat? Do you want to hear my Arteezy impression? Yes, yes let's please. do it. Oh no, come on, you can't cheat. Jeez. All right, let's see the RTZ impression. Oh yeah, so like these guys are just doing so much random shit in the map, but <laughs> doesn't make sense. Like Cloud9 should just like just leave the game. Where's the boys? Um, like Prue's gonna win this game. Yeah. Boys. Good stuff, boys. The boys. There you go. That's what nice. I like to hear. <laughs> nice. Very good impression, I have to say. Wow. Spot, spot on. on. Oh, that's gonna be forced to blink or to TP out. And the farm of the jungle commences. I do not like this five slot Wraith King, man. It's getting me angrier and angrier. How long did it take you to actually call him Wraith King? I will never call him Wraith King. You it's like, too late. Consistently. Oh, what do you usually call him? Yeah. Skeleton King. You're one of those guys, huh? He is. I mean, it's, it's hard to... Hipster. It's hard to hipster, Jesus. I remember what he's called Skeleton King. Uh. How can I call myself a hipster when I've been playing uh, Dota for three years? Well, I don't call Windrunner Windranger, because that just sounds dirty. It's Skeleton King. People that use legacy keys or, or not use legacy keys. Sorry. Do you use legacy keys? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You disgust me. I know, I mean, you know... I don't understand. It, like, imagine if, you, if Dota 2 became Dota 3 and they changed all the keys and all the names. Mm -hmm. Like, Windrunner is still going to be Windrunner. You know, Necro is still going to be Necro. It's like, it's hard to change. Yeah. When you, the names are so ingrained in the heroes. Now, did you uh, did you use legacy keys? You just used to it from Dota One. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, that's it's fair it's enough. It's more you don't want to change. It's people that just start lazy. out. It's, I mean, prob it probably is better to change, but it's a little bit more efficient. Yeah. It, it is. probably doesn't make that much of a difference once you get the muscle memory yeah, down. Yeah, it doesn't really. It still disgusts me. They're just so. randomly using their spells. That's what happens when the game gets really yeah. late, you know. So we're at the 50-minute mark. And, uh, they wanted to wait for the refreshers to be up, man. Yeah, waiting on those refresher it. timings. They're chilling. That last fight was too much for the computers. Uh, the graphs now, 15k mm. XP, and it, I think it was about the same in gold. Mm. Cloud9 uh, pretty well in command of this one. But I do still think, with the DPLT, if they could get a fight and melt the right heroes at the There's right time, AC. there's a possibility. AC mm. on tide, so he's still, so he's not still knocked out. <laughs> gonna have enough mana. Oh, he's picked up some stat points, and yeah, I, think I don't he, know if that I makes a difference. He might but. have enough now. Let's see. The, the ult is 325. Imagine the pressure is 325. 375. 375. So that's uh, 700. So he does have enough. 1,025. He does have enough, and he can mana boots as well. Imagine if this race can have like Midas, Blink. Uh, Abyssal, Mjolnir. Yeah, I know, dude, oh. for real. There it is. Right, and the Explode TA does have buyback. Does have buyback. And, and he just popped the pressure as well. Him? Smash is very quick, but ET's got uh, that ET's Yasha quicker. and Yules too, so he's quick as well. Who's faster? <laughs> They're both probably close to max move speed. Yeah. Let's see. 4 4 3. DP and four. ET moves at. Well, that's without phase boots activated, though. And, uh, okay. 5 oh. 2 2. Holy yeah. All right. crap. Well, that's if he's not hit, obviously. Tranquil Look boots how will fast break. he is. That's insane. There's the stomp. Cyborg Matt is like 
walking there and there like 30 times. Yeah, he's he's working. He's a working man. man. Cyberman's a hard worker, man. Underrated. Uh, EE yeah. running around the back here. Just going to push. Force uh, no today. But Not you're right, Bubble. Today. When you were talking oh. about Cl uh, Cloud9 just being very methodical in what they do, and they're extremely good at it. And as a result, they're fairly consistent. Obviously, people joke about them being second place all the time, but that's that's still consistent, right? Yeah. They're yeah. consistently second place. Nothing to be ashamed consistently of. Consistently doing better than like most, most people. Of the people yeah. in the tournament is uh, consistent. Yeah. I mean, I think at the moment we've got some really good teams. Um, I mean, I, I look at the teams in this tournament. I mean, n not today considered these rank outsiders or whatever, you know, they haven't played in a tournament before, but these guys have been yeah, pretty They're good. giving a good game huh? so far. I think if they didn't make a few mistakes, if the Tide actually had Blink uh, mana for his Ravage in that middle fight... Yeah, that was big. That, was that, a, was big. that would have been a big game changer. Uh, and I think that, you know, as we, we've uh, run this into the ground, but the Wraith King, the way they've played him, I don't think has been great, and maybe the Marana pick yeah. wasn't the, the best. The Marana pick was just there to ensure the aggressive Trilene one, but... Honestly, Envy shouldn't have died in that first blood regardless, I think. Yeah, he should have been able to time mark away. So. Trav's up on TA now. Luxury items galore. Yeah. This I mean, she's doing enough damage at this point, I feel. Do you so. know what's funny is um, uh, MVP in the Dream League. Uh, actually, we've got a big fight coming up here, I think. So. Um, they were saying that uh, their late game falls off because they're not used to playing in it quite so much. There's a, goes a sentry. Ravage oh, catches too, but there's oh. a big Chronosphere. He's not going to get the second Ravage off. I don't think he's going to no. die. Maybe, can oh. they do it with them as they just can? There's an arrow, but it's not going to make a difference. Smash should go down here. He does. He's there for 109 oh. seconds. No Ooh. buyback. RP whiffs, but it doesn't matter. Wow, Mirana gets so blown up. Man, double chrono is like, if you get the first one correctly, it's impossible. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, you you just might just take your hands off the keyboard. It's so yeah. that was three dead. Big swing. XP, 6k. Uh, gold difference. Well, at this stage, it's not really that important. They're going to come down and... Uh, Get this bot right. Yeah, at the stage of the game. The it's fastest man in the universe here is Suitcase Man. Yeah. Late for work. He's in a rush. They've got the damage. The TA's starting to do some serious punching. Combine that with the Dagon as well. I mean, I think they should GG here, to be honest with you. Yeah. It'd be a miracle if they won this. Look at that base get blown up. Get blown up, son. They still it's have cheese happening. to work with as well. Yeah. I'm sure, right, if they well, have Aegis as well. You've been mega creeped, guys. Well, we get to see Mega Creeps for the second time GG, today. But I think they feel if they can win a fight, they've got the DPL, they can maybe go for it. But well, there's the fake. Oh, Holy shit, wow. what the hell was that? That was like a That's called Side Blades and Crit <laughs> with a great RP. They're going to have Good a buyback Lord. on the AA, but oh, this the is the last stand. The cheese oh. is real. God almighty, they're all going to get it blown up. AA, ulti comes in. Oh, nice. He might just get out of this. He does. He's still alive. Push them back, but tied down. Only for 60 more seconds. Marana is back. Is he dead? I think he's going to pop. Yeah, he's dead. There he goes. Man, uh, Ag's too and, good. And uh, Pilot die. Where did EE e. Summer go? Back home. He's just there. He's fine. He's, he's fine. He has 6k in the bank. Yeah. Mega Creep's on his side. What would you buy here, Bulba? For his I last mean, item before the game ends. Traps. Uh, I mean... I don't know if he's keeping in mind anything. that you want you want uh, style points. Look at somehow. those scary mega creeps. A Dagon five. What's that? A Dagon five. Dagon. Okay. Look at those things. Jesus. You don't think that's kind of rubbing in their face? It's kind of bad manners. Well, it's envy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's arrow. all you need to say. It's matter. it's envy. <laughs> And it's understood. Look how <laughs> the Marana just not doing enough damage here. Oh, AE. he's oh. gonna drop. AA takes out EE. -E. Oh, That's a lot oh, of letters, oh. Perian. Yeah. The YOLO, -E. <laughs> the Yolo Smash push. Here fancies it, actually. This is like familiar to our game versus VG. AA's <laughs> EE -E takes out VG. Unfortunately, Death Prophet's ult's not gonna be up for 50 seconds, so it's gonna be. And the other mm, problem is push. Void can buy back, so they really can't do much here. I think. Maybe, I'm guessing uh, he didn't use Refresher. We're lagging a little bit. Oh, it's actually off cooldown. Oh, he bought a blink dagger. Twelve. Interesting. Style points. Style points. Double, yeah, double blink ish. <laughs> blink on void. Interesting. MKB on Marana. Well. Oh, this is when she starts doing decent damage. Wraith King is a garbage with defender. With what he's got, has nothing against this army of Mordor. Look at him. He's trying his oh best. My. Trying to train these creeps back to the fountain. 
Oh, RP catches Smash. Skewers him back right into the mouth of the Ancient. One more punch. He Ooh. gets used. There's the Chrono, catches two. Big, big problems here. The base is going to get blown up. GG. And then the came into the bitter end. Well played to Cloud9. Closed it out at the end there, but not today. <laughs> yeah, that's something else, isn't it? Wait, what that's happened? More, that's more fitting for Universe, I feel. No. Can we show it again? That was because the Aladdin carpet Bulba ride. Mystic. Can we show it again? <laughs> Adam, here we go. Watch this. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's pretty epic. Well, congratulations to Cloud9. Both teams, like we talked about, played well. Not today. Um, people were expecting them to get stomped, honestly. They really were, yeah. Because they're not, they just really not used were. to seeing them. So this is a good showing. I expect more good things from them. Yeah. Uh, in terms of fantasy points, they actually didn't do that well. And that's what really counts. Yeah, that's true. That's a great point. Elder Titan picking up the uh, MVP. Holy crap. Yeah. I think it was being the fastest dude in the world was what gave him those uh, <laughs> fantasy points. I don't even know how this works. Yeah, how does that thing, look at it? He... His record is seven and six. He yeah. doesn't have the highest of like any category. But the fantasy thing is that even live? I mean, does it do anything at the moment? Uh, no. I don't think it does, right? Yeah. Oh How well. Does he have fifteen points. Strange. And four point one for Venge. Hmm. There's always fantasy leagues running. Thank you, K-pop, with the statistical knowledge bomb. Wow. How does he have so? Is it like Look based on damage done got or something? Five point four. The second lowest in the game. I think it's because the, the categorize him as support. Thing. And the fact that he got more last hits than he should? Yeah, yeah, that's why. Strange. I don't know. Who the that, hell I think that has knows. to be why. So we I can guess. look it up. Yeah, anyway. Um, I don't know what Somebody we have. disappeared. What yeah, is this? Yeah, what we have planned now. PyCat did his impressions and ran off. We are... Uh, I guess we're going to analyze the game for a bit and then go to a video. We're going to take an ad break. We're ready. Let's take the ad break. We're ready for the ad break. It was when ready, and we're ready, I think. <laughs> I think we've analyzed this game to death. Yeah. Both teams played well, as Rashid Wallace would say. Press so. the button. <laughs> Bye.